Hello, 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 and welcome to part 27 of Pokemon Violet. In today's episode, we're gonna finish off Gita's request. As we have defeated all the gym leaders once again, and we won't ever be able to rematch him again. Which is kind of sad. Because I remember, like, since Emerald, you could re-battle gym leaders uh, whenever you felt like it or whenever, whenever a gym was available, but apparently that's not the case anymore. It's like, it's like, come on! Anyway, we'll be heading to Mezagoza. I miss the old nomenclature for Pokemon City and town names, like Mezagoza City or Montanavera Town. Like, they could have called them that, but I don't know. It just made it seem more memorable to me. Oh, well. some Pokeballs for later. Because you never know when you're going to need them. Never hurts to be prepared. Never hurts to be prepared. to the academy we go. Alright. And there's Gita th right there waiting for us. Hello there. Good day, Champion Logan. Now tell me, what do you think of our entrance hall? Do you enjoy being surrounded by books? Love it. That's good to hear. It was renovated a few years ago, and I was the one who came up with this new design. Jeez, you're very humble, Mosquita, and I think one of those Murkrows up there disappeared. But more importantly, I would like to very much like to hear your report on the gym leaders. Now that I think about it, this location is perhaps a bit too public. Do you know of anywhere where we, where we might be able to discuss things a bit more discreetly? Uh -oh. <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, Gita, I... Look, uh... I... So, this is a dorm where you live. Gita, look, I know, I know, I look... My character looks cute, but... He is underage, Gita! I mean... Th this is not appropriate. Not appropriate at all. I wonder, is this the room that what helped you nurture your potential as champion? No, actually, it's pretty barren. Not really, no. Ah, uh, wait, I remember now. You only recently moved into the dormitories. 
In the near future, perhaps, I'll pay your family's home a visit, if I may. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, my adult mind is taking this situation to some weird places. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, let us get us, let us get back to the topic at hand. I would very much like to hear your report now on what you've inspected the gym leaders. Tell me, which gym leader did you feel was... <sighs> Hold on, phone call. Sorry, another phone call at an inappropriate time. I do not live in a Let's Player friendly environment. No, I don't. <sighs> so which gym leader did you feel was easiest to face in battle? I'd say it was... Brassius, sorry. Brassius, fascinating. Next, which gym leader left the strongest impression on you? That would be Larry. Larry, I see. Then, which gym leader gave you the most trouble during battle? I don't know, probably... Iono! Oh, Iono? Next is the last most important question. Which gym leader did you like the most? Well, sorry Iono, you're fun, but I'd have to say Larry. Larry, I see. Those are all the questions I have. Thank you very much for your help on this. Ch you are, your perspective is fascinating, Champion Logan. I have no doubt it will assist me in running the organization. Please accept this as thanks. Oh, a rock. I just did your job for you, miss, and you give me a rock? I was expecting something more <clears throat> of the monetary persuasion. Thanks to you, my schedule has cleared up quite significantly. Another reason why you should have paid me. So I will be discussed, definitely join the tournament point we discussed in the director's office. I'm sure Champion Nimona will be pleased too. Well then, thanks for letting me visit. I should get back to work now. You must be tired. I suggest you take it easy for the rest of the day. And now that that's out of the way... Oh, we have to rest. Jeez, what is this? Persona 5? God dang it. One week later, thanks to the Mona's pushing and a bit of cooperation with the Pokemon League, the day has finally come for the great Pokemon battle competition to be held. Oh, no, go ahead. Just barge in, Namona. Just barge into my room. Wing. Mind you, I could have been changing or getting dressed, but no, you just dump waltz on in. Hey, Logan. I'm so glad we just managed to get everything ready for the Academy Ace Tournament. Oh, yeah, that's what we decided to officially name the tournament. It's a good name, right? Fitting, memorable. But then Arvin went and said we should call it the School Battle Brawl. And then even Director C Clavel got to calling it that. So now I'm just like, ah. Anyway, how you feeling, Logan? In the mindset to do some winning? Uh, sure. There's that enthusiasm. Show us what a champion's made of. It's so cool that La Primera is gonna make a guest appearance thanks to your hard work. I wish I didn't have my hands full of all the behind-the-scenes admin stuff. Well, when you start something, it's your responsibility to keep it running. That's how the world works, Demona. I won't even get to do any battling myself. But I'll see the chance to do some objective research that make, which is what makes you so good. Anyway, let's get going. I'll meet you over on the front desk of the entrance hall. No stalling! Ugh. No one is a bit pushy, isn't she? Oh, 
Oh, Clavel, what does he have to say? Thank you again for your outstanding work on Operation Starfall. I cannot tell you how relieved I am that we were able to help Miss Penny as we did. And I know that she is exceedingly grateful to you for your part in all this. So I have one more thing to ask of you, though I, the request is admittedly of a delicate nature. Do you think we could continue being good? F you could continue being good friends with Miss Penny as you have so thus far. I think I can. I must say I am truly glad to see you, to have you as one of my students at the academy. I believe you've more than earned this small token of my appreciation. Ooh. See, Champion Gita? At least he gave me something of monetary value. I hope that you will always stay just as wonderful as you are now, Master Logan. Ah. Now the entrance hall we go. Hi, Namona. There you are, Logan. You just gotta go through the application process with a staffer in the new before you'll actually participate in the tournament. Ready for the explanation now, mister? Alright, the rules for the Academy Ace Tournament are as follows. Any student or faculty member of the Academy may enter. Your opponents will be random, and the only winners will only winners will advance to the next round. Opponents will be matched by lottery. And the lottery is run by peeps of people in charge. That means you'll have no idea who you'll, who you'll be facing until you meet them in the battle court. As winners, of, as winners, as I said, will get to advance to the next round. But lose once, and you're knocked out. No matter how many... And no more battles for you after that. The last turn standing, the only person to win all their matches, but will be deemed the best of all the Academy's Ace. Thank you, th thanks very much! We hashed out the tournament rules to help from Director Clavel. Based on the number of entrants so far, you probably have to win four times to take it all. Don't forget, you might not go up against the faculty too. They're tough stuff, so good luck and go be even tougher. The only person allowed to beat you is me! Please talk to me when you're ready to take part. Hello there, would you like to enter the Academy Ace Tournament? Well, yes. Master Logan, a champion ranked trainer, right? Yes. Okay, you're all re registered as a contestant. Please head down to the battle court. a new champion here at Uber Academy. Yes, none other than our very own Master Logan. For real? That's amazing! Bien, hucho muchacho! Woo, way to go, champ! It give me great joy to see one of our students achieve this feat during their time at the Academy. The tournament was organized by your student council president, Miss Namona. In celebration of a friend's accomplishment, I invite you all here to see for yourselves the impressive strength of our new champion. Not to mention the talents of those students claiming the spotlight for the first time today. And of course the superb battle prowess and acumen of our esteemed faculty. Now without further ado, let the 
Academy Ace Tournament, our school battle brawl. Begin! <laughs> Nomona's probably upset. Alright, alright, let's jump to the first round, everyone. Who will the face pair up today? Champion Logan will be facing... Arvin from Class 2G. You've got to be kidding me. I'm up against my little champion buddy right in the, from the first round? How about, Logan? Bet you're surprised to see me in this tournament, right? Yeah, I am, actually. <laughs> That's right. That dumbfound expression is what I want to see. I see, when we went down into Area Zero, it really drove home for me how I need to get stronger. So I've been do off doing some super special serious trade with Mabel Stiff and my team. If we ever end up in trouble again, I want I want to be there fighting beside you on the same level. So today, I'm here to win, even if it might only be us by a stroke of luck. Get a taste of this! Arvin's here with some spicy new flavor for you! Ooh, I love this battle theme! I want you and me to be on the same level, so I'm going after this win without holding back! opponents will be randomized up for this first go about yeah all the opponents are set so yeah don't expect too much out of it that. yeah so like this first go about is scripted yeah so that's, that's all I can say about this first round. So how are y'all doing today? Uh, today Pokemon announced the newest anime, Pokemon Horizons, which is the first anime series to not star Ash. Well, the first time the main anime series didn't star Ash. Because there actually have been plenty of, there actually have been plenty of little mini series that didn't star Ash. And, they were actually pretty good. But you know, with Bash Gun, it feels kinda different. Almost. You know, it's the main character, he's moving on to a new chapter of it in his life. Huh. Much like I have. I've grown up and, well, actually, I'm still kinda struggling to figure out my next steps in life. I mean, okay, I still. my own place yet. Oh well, but that'll change one day. Once I save up, start earning enough, I'll be able to get and maintain my own home. But, till that day, I'll have to endure. I'll have to, to endure it. Oh no, Gargadackle! Hang on there, buddy! Oh good, one hit KO! Perfect! Toad Scrolla. Time for your revenge by Bitter Blade. Yeah. 
Ah, oh, it moves faster still. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh. friggin' toad scroll. You mushroom jellyfish. Yeah. Uh. So summer's coming up. That's pretty exciting. Ah, uh, sun is always my favorite time of year, even if it even if it is cycling hot. Armin means business. Like holy smokes, he does. I do not like. I do not like that. Though so, that stealth rock. movies coming out next month uh, which isn't too far away actually I'm excited for that I'm putting everything I got in this no regrets allowed no leftovers after this meal <laughs> let's light up the school bell bro man it's brighter than anybody Ah, uh, crap, it goes first, too. Uh. Arvin is really going for it. Arvin really does mean business. Holy smokes. But hopefully Hariyama can manage to pull off a win. Alright, Hariyama, come on! Oh, perfect! Hold off a win! Oh, You're so strong and cool! I'm really proud to call you my best friend, you know! Ah, that's nice. The where the fist first round battle is Champion Logan. Woo! All right, the professor's kid pulls a heck of a fight. That's what a spicy start, and that's only the first match. Whew, the strength of a champion is legit. It hurts to lose, but I'm proud of you, little buddy. There's a thing. Think of going to college just myself. You better try hard as I would have in round two for me. Uh, well, I flubbed up those lines, didn't I? Next up in the second round. I'm sure you're ready to hear the matchup, so let's get to it. Champion Logan will be facing Jacques, the biology teacher. Hello, hello, Logan. I hear you went down on your treasure hunt and wound up becoming a champion. That's quite the achievement. I'm guessing the I'm the ho I guess I'm the homeroom teacher for two two champion rank students now. I won't lie, I'm feeling a wee bit of pressure here. I gotta work so hard so my students don't shout me too much, huh? 
Well, let's, well then, let's get started, shall we? I hear, uh, here's hoping I do okay. One thing I, you know, I wonder is, where are, where are all the other champion trainers in Pal Day? <laughs> Show you got in your own way at your own pace. Ah, you miss. Ooh, flash fire. Pokemon you put up in first as as it most likely it won't be able to repair really. Yo me Oscarada Mudsdale. I had one in Sun and Moon. It was like it's a pretty good useful Pokemon really. Until it's not. Ooh, one hit KO. Her, right now, Jock's certainly easier than Arvin is. Ooh, Rancis. I remember that from Sun and Moon 2. That one gave me real tr trouble right now. That one gave me real trouble, like the Titan. Not the Titan, uh, I mean the Totem. The Totem Moran. Like, if you're not prepared, that battle can be tough as nails. Even if you have a fire type on you. Even with Sunny Day, it, like, this Pokemon can be, that Pokemon can be a pain in the butt. Ooh, slow bro. You're too slow, bro. The thing about Slowbro is that thing on his tail is technically a shelter, but the shelters we know are do not look like that. Like I only see that form of shelter on its own, really. I mean, you would have to do any work to make that version of Shelter its own form. Oh well. Lexus Wallot. Well, Lexus Wallot, this. Swallow is so derpy. You know, I never even, I never knew Swalot existed for the lot for the first time I played Pokemon. Even though I started Gen 3, I had no idea Swalot existed. And I guess there was no traders using it. My knowledge there was. Yeah, my first, actually my first Pokemon game was Emerald. I still love it to this day. It, like, Emerald was awesome. Especially that scene in the Satopolis with Rayquaza and Groudon and Kyogre. That was... That was epic. Shame we couldn't get that in the Ruby set the Gen 3 remakes. Oh well. That be how it is sometimes, I'm afraid. Oh wait. Well, part normal type, ghost type moves, no, 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 Wow, you're sure are strong. Is there some secret in the way you raise your Pokemon? Huh? Hey, wait a minute. It terrestrializes. I can use Shadow Claw. Just a little energy, and there you have it. Now watch as my Pokemon terrestrializes. Oh, that made, that made a, a mistake, Professor. 
I mean, I know you're automatically programmed to, to rush for lives, but... Yeah. You just took away the normal typing. Shadow Claw will affect it. <laughs> Take this! You did great! Sure did! And the winner of the second round is Champion Logan! Haha, <laughs> you beat me! You're quite the strong trainer, aren't you, Logan? You're more fit for teaching the profession than I am, but with that boundless confidence of yours. Mr. Jock, did I hear you correctly just now? Oh, uh, uh hi, Director! Are, are you angry with me? <laughs> Well, I'm gonna go get yelled at. Good luck with the upcoming battles. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Finally, only four trades remain. Time for the contestants to face their third matches, everyone. Uh, matchup for this battle will be Champion Logan versus... Dendra, the battle studies teacher. Osu, new kid. This school battle brawl is deciding for the strongest trainer in the academy, right? Man, I am so pumped up! There's no better place for me to throw off my, show off my strength. And I hear you're the reason we're having this tournament. Well, you have my thanks for that. New kid, no, Champion Logan. As a teacher, I feel it's my duty to lead my students to success. But, since I am the battle studies teacher, I can't very well lose a battle, can I? So don't expect me to go easy on you. I'm gonna give it all I've got. She's a total shonen protagonist. Like, just she has that shonen protagonist vibe right with right here. Let's have a good, clean battle, okay? Best of luck. Oh, falling. I love that that Pokemon was first introduced. Like, at first I thought it was like some sort of caterpillar, but then I saw it was just a bunch of those students, and I thought, oh well, that is so cool. There's three types of Tauros. The fighting type, water type, and the fire type. It missed! Ugh. Well, that confused me as hell. Like, you can't play for Leo was like the fighting type, can ya? I hope it's really the water type for the fight type, but uh, let's be prepared just in case. It's the water type! <laughs> I was right on point with that, holy smokes! A white KO for you. Halucha. I like that. I like Halucha. It was—it's cool. 
Out comes Electron. Probably will be a fighting type terrestrialization, so best be prepared. Oh, it's not even a final Pokemon, okay. Down goes Medicham. You got real fighting, new kid. This bell really got my still my fight spirit. Good. Well, let's finish it off, shall we? Push past your limits, but day by day, oh soon. Are right, you shorter protagonist? Let's see what you got. Whoa, look how big his hat is. That's mine. All you got. That'll make the taste of victory even sweeter. Good thing I crystallized, huh? Oh, you're going down now. Taken away. Ah! <laughs> I see you've honed your skills, new kid. Osu. And the winner of this third round battle is Champion Logan. Oh no way! I got crushed. But I still got to some out of this battle. There's a massive chance for me to grow. You may be surprised to hear this, but we adults are still learning every day, too. And that's why we're always harping on you kids to study. Turns out we actually do know what we're talking about. Thanks for the battle. Keep aiming for the top of this tournament. Don't forget. Oh, so, oh, so, oh, so. There's one last match of this tournament, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to introduce the trainers who will be facing fine off to finally determine who's the strongest in the academy. Is Chappie Logan up against? Ch -ch 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 the special guest during the tournament, top champion Gita. Good day, champion Logan. How the feeling I would make you in the finals? Hone strength against hone strength. Such a class is what captures the crowd and create makes their hearts race. This is ex an extremely close to what I would call my ideal world. As chairperson for both the uh, Pokemon League and the Academy, I find this situation to be incredibly st satisfying. Now, if we both push against each other to greater heights, we will achieve greater synergy. Come, Champion Logan. Our battle will inspire all those who watch us today. Let me show you what the full might of the top champion.
let us set an example for everyone. You and I. Okay. Oh, how dare you. But you go down one hit anyway. for taking it, man. You got it. You got it. You call us be the top champion? <laughs> you sure you're bringing out your full mind against me there, Gita? Because right now I'm not feeling it. You said your King Gambit out too early. <laughs> King Gambit's more of a backstage guy, a uh, backstage sweeper, but okay. I'm just leeching off his life now with my bitter blade. <laughs> oh. Well, what do you know? Don't worry, Hariyama. There you go, King Gamut, and your stylish mustache. Go, go, huh? why we're still where the latest game to come out and go we could see me seen riding go go in like the promotional things but like and we could ride go go but to a very extremely limited to a very extremely limited uh percentile or, yeah it's like you could ride Go Go, but at the same time, you couldn't really control it. That was like disappointing. Like, there's an area where you can ride a Skiddo, but. Like, that was the extent that you could ride a Pokemon in that game. Like, at least with, here, with Mira on, you could. Do you want to do anything on its back?
thought Go Goat would be giving people that much trouble. I mean, holy hell! Oh well. That's how it be sometimes. a bit more of a fight than our initial battle, but still, not exactly what I'd call top champion, not really. But, now comes Glamora, the Pokemon that, quite honestly, should have been a... Well, that makes such a fitting one for the final finale, a grand spectacle. Glamora. Should have been like the. Should have been like the first Pokemon on our team, and King Gambit should have been the last. Would have made a big difference. Oh well. Game Freak was going to really so it's perfectly fine with. Let's be. Ugh. May you show as brilliant as a future Paldea, Glamora. And Glamora won't shine brightly. For I shall bright the brightest, turn the brightest. And down you go. See? That's why you should. Glamora should have gone up first. That toxic debris. Oh well. You want? Well, it was your decision, Gita. But you chose wrong. The future of Paldea is bright indeed. And with that, the Academy Ace Tour is done. Uh, unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen, the victor of this tournament. Thus, the star trainer of the Holy Academy is Champion Logan! Woo! Logan, you did it! You did it! Logan! 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 And the Ace Academy tournament is wrapped up! I would like to extend my thanks to everyone who made this extraordinary tournament possible. Each and every trainer has demonst beautifully demonstrated the bond they share with their Pokemon. I couldn't take my eyes off any four of, of the matches, leading the way into the future while valuing our individuality. That is our motto at Uva Academy, and the tournament truly lived up to our ideals. Now, I'm aware speeches tend to my speech has been a little, shall we say, over long, so I'll wrap it up there. I'll now turn the floor to our special guest, Chairwoman Gita. Our, the friendly rivalry of trainers, the cheering and encouragement from the crowd. I feel like these are the perfect ingredients for the Academy. No, for the whole Paldea region to become more lively and energized. Champion Logan was far stronger today than, we, than when he took the Champion Le Pokemon League's final test. It is clear that he starts to become better every day, even after reaching such an esteemed rank. It is my sincere hope that all Paldea's people will be inspired not just by him, but by every trainer gathered here who aim to new heights. Champion and the seed for many more future champions to be sown. I will eagerly await the news of all your achievements. Thank you, Chairwoman Gita. Now at last, it is time for this wonderful tournament to come to an end. But, this event seems to be, seems to me to be a wonderful way to build up rapport between fa faculty and students and invigorate the wider community beyond our walls. So, 
I hereby declare the Academy Ace Tournament will not end as a one-time event. It will continue to be held regularly. Woohoo, Watson Drifter Clavel! We're so excited we're in lower frame rate! Yay! Maybe I'll join next time too! Oh my gosh, yes, this is everything I wanted! I do hope you'll participate next time, Miss Nimona. Absolutely, I wouldn't miss it for anything! Well, dear students and staff, and that wraps up our very first Academy Ace Tournament. Thank you for again for joining us here today, and I hope you're all excited for the next one. Yay, thank you! Logan, you did it! Congratulations on winning it all! I'm so happy, it almost made me forget the pain of everyone using Starpin's Arvin's student sco stupid school battle brawl name. Oh yeah, here's your prize. Yay! Dr. Clavel told me he got he got caught up in all the excitement and forgot to give it to you. So I guess you get the strongest of the school throne for now, Logan. Keep it warm for me. I'm gonna be in the tournament next time, and I'll be coming right for you. Whatever you need to feel like entering the tournament again, just talk to the staff at the front desk. You know, Logan. I've frost every day since you came, moved here to the Paldea and became my rival. I'm so glad I got to meet you. I mean it. Me too. I mean it. Heck, come on. Don't make me blush. Anyway, I'll be seeing you on the battle court for a good long time to come. And with that, we are wrapping... Oh, wait. <laughs> Hello, hello, Logan, this is Jock. Congratulations on winning the Academy Ace Tournament. I'm sure I am proud of what one of my students uh, uh, became the Academy's Ace. Uh, Mr. Jock? Uh, uh, don't worry, D Director Clavel. I'll get to the point now. I'm actually t calling you to help tell you that highly difficult terror raids are cropping up all over the place. We're getting report after report of, from the Academy students about their Pokemon getting injured. We teach us both to investigate these raids, but we're still a bit short-handed. So we're wondering if we could enlist your help, since you're the Academy's ace after all. How about it, Logan? Leave it to me! Woohoo! Thank you! The Pokedex is automatically record the data we need as we go, so don't worry about that. For now, I'd like you to just visit just to take one of these tough terror raid battles. And don't get it over your head. Even the Academy's ace needs to be careful. I sure would be sad if one of my precious students got injured. Anyway, we're counting on you. So yeah, we have new terror raids coming up. Anyway, that's all for today. Uh, next time we'll be catching on some, some paradox Pokemon. So so don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring a ding ding the little bell.